morning to meet uh, the minister uh, and the fellow governor, government of Alberta province, and of course the IBC Capital Strategic Trading Partner. So we invest, as Risky mentioned, we invest in some portfolio. In update briefly about our recent policy. Bank Indonesia uh, recently conducted a monthly board meeting in August 2023 and keeping the policy rate 5.75%. Uh, with the central bank policy mix, we could bring inflation down into the target while uh, maintaining economic growth and exchange rate among the best in the region. This occasion let me also introduce our uh, new instrument which will be marketed on September 15, 2023, so next week. Yeah. It's called Bank Indonesia Rupiah Securities. It will substitute the central bank first repurchase operation for 6, 9, 12 months tenor. Bank Indonesia Rupiah Securities provide more attractive rates as it is based on yield of government bonds. Well, it will also tradable for both domestic and foreign investors in secondary market. This instrument uh, is aimed at creating a stronger anchor for rupiah yield curve. Hopefully, the new instruments are more powerful to attract foreign investors. I think Ontario's premier is not a fan of that. <laughs> we, have, we haven't stopped the program yet, so we're not that concerned on the housing side yet. But... With regard to the increase of the interest rate in Canada, especially, and Bank of Canada policy that leads to depreciation in the exchange rate. Very low break even WTI price to be cash positive. So, um, because we're just, that's such a large, uh, uh, but the price is, is held up rather well for them. Conservative, okay. we put in the short term end. So it's about three and under. Right after the Fed uh, start to going down, of course, we consider for the longer term. Thank you.